I'm not sure what he's doing. Do you know what he's doing? Hi. Hi. She was singing. Oh, there's a bus. Bus. Bye. Ah, ah sweet refuge in the bedroom. Oh my god, it's so hot. We cheated, we took a bus home. But it's okay, because we were carrying big boxes. We need more trees. We need, yes, Toronto needs more trees. Let's get on that. No subways. No, Scarborough doesn't need any subways. Never mind, I'm not getting into that. So we got home, and let me tell you, sitting in a food court is extremely hard to do when you're on this diet. Uh, especially because Taco Bell, I, now if you don't know me, Doritos was my thing. Like, if I was in a bad mood, or I wanted a cheat night, Doritos was my thing. And Taco Bell just started selling Doritos with the cheese and everything. Nacho Doritos. Nacho Doritos, yeah. Uh, so, there is a name. I don't know what it is, though. So, how rude is that? We're sitting in this food court, and they're selling these Doritos with nachos, and it's making me very mad and cheaty. So what I did, I almost gave in. I almost gave in. I was like, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat right now. I'm hungry. I'm going to cheat and buy these Doritos. But what I did is I ran to Walmart, and I bought one of the protein bars that I can have instead. I was proud. It still sucked, and I still really want Doritos. Hi. Hi. What's up? The entire time, I was like, hey, if you're going to cheat, there's only one thing that I'm going to buy you. I didn't go for it. I was a little disappointed that you didn't, because it would have made excellent vlog material. It would have. That's true, but... Because you guys have seen me eat the Boxmaster. It would have been up to Cheryl to eat the Zinger Double Down. And I just couldn't do it. And technically, she can have half of the things that are on there. I can. I could have the chicken. I'd have to take the breading off. So can, she can have the chicken. I can have the bacon. She can have the bacon, and she can have the other piece of chicken. I bought bandanas because we're both sick of... I just carry, like, paper towels around with me because when I walk to work, I get gross and sweaty. And Chuck has been using what looks like a handkerchief, but it's actually a napkin from our picnic mm -hmm. set. And we've been using that as a bandana. So, that happened. Hey! So, these bandanas are from Greenville, South Carolina, as you can see there, and made in China. That's confusing. But, the reason why uh, Cheryl's rocking the bandana, I'm sure, is because bandanas, a square piece of cloth with an attitude. So right now, Cheryl's rocking the attitude. Attitude right there. Attitude. The attitude is high with this one. Speaking of attitude, the, uh, <laughs> the anniversary mode for NHL 14, a little underwhelming, unfortunately. The, the guy in the video is like, oh, we included NHL 94 mode in 2006 or something. I don't know why you would do that in the 18th year. Is it 18? No, on the... God, I can't do math. 20, 12th year. 94, 2006. 12th year. Yeah. So, I don't understand why you would use... put that mode in for the 12th version of the game. I understand if you're saving it for like 15, or in this case, year 20. Or even 25, I don't care. But they're like, oh yeah, no one really played it. Yeah, because it's... And the reason why I didn't play it was because the mode wasn't actually in it. It was like a broken down version of NHL 94 because you, ha you could use the buttons. The same buttons were there, but the look wasn't there, the feel wasn't there. But you could use NHL 94 controls. And of course no one was going to use that. Now I hear that none of the old players are back. Like, the old rosters from 94 aren't in there. What you have instead are three players. You have Gretzky, you've got Lemieux, you got Jeremy Roenick. 
Really? Those are the three players that you pick? I understand the first two. You might as well put a classic player for every single team, right? Give the Leafs Doug Gilmore. He was a force in the first game, so, like, put him in there. You can't put offsides on and icing. You can't put that on either. Because according to the designer, he's like, oh, yeah, no one... No one played with those on. Yes, they did. Everyone that I played with played with those settings on. You know why? Because they're actually in hockey. EA, your whole mantra is, if it's in the game, it's in the game. Now, if it's in the game, eh, maybe not. That's the dumbest thing I've heard. So I'm actually really disappointed now. <sighs> I'll still buy it, but I probably won't end up playing the stupid anniversary mode just because... If it's just a skin, which it really looks like, I'm not really going to be too too happy about that. That's really disappointing. I had such high hopes, too. It's going to be my birthday soon, and I think one of the hardest things for me to do is think of things to write on a list for people. Because I never think of, oh, you know what, that'd be nice. That'd be nice for my birthday, because I have stopped thinking that way. One of the things that I thought of was a brand new copy of Superman Red Sun. It's basically if the Earth kept rotating and Superman's landing was off by 12 hours, he would have landed in Russia and not in small town USA. And I lent this graphic novel to somebody at, uh, at the music school that I used to work with at, and I never got it back. So, I was thinking, yeah, a new copy of that would be awesome. I was telling Cheryl about how there's, like, even Russian Batman. Happy with I that. am not feeling that. He Come on, he looks amazing! No, he showed me a picture. Okay, it's here's terrifying. the picture of him. It's not terrifying, it's awesome. Yes! Awesome. You know what is awesome, though? This. Solid air freshener? Yeah. Do you need more of those? Yes, buy them all. This one in particular is lavender and vanilla because sometimes I have trouble going to sleep at night so I just put it up, up by my side at the headboard and then I can smell it at night and it's a very nice smell and it actually helps put me to sleep so if you ever need a sleeping aid BAM! There's this. I was watching Tabletop today Yes. and Joe Beretta brought up a very excellent point. Why has Nintendo not given Mario his cape back? Yeah! The cape was probably the greatest thing yeah. to attach yeah. to Mario's back. The best was when you got it and then you got up high and you got to the secret. And then you had to go. Yeah. Stop with the animals. You gave him a cape. Okay, but the raccoon's okay. Cheryl is still enamored with the scary fan expo person in line. Do you remember that? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it was, was it the first Fan Expo yes. we went to? We were waiting in line, first Fan Expo, and and there was this rather... Uh, Stereotypical geeky? In a bad way. Mm -hmm. Like, not in the, hey, that person's geek, that's kind of cool. Yeah, no, like, he may have been in his 30s. Yeah. That's true. And, uh, yeah. And he not came... that being in your 30s is horrible. No. And I don't not that living is. in your parents' basement is horrible, but it's just, no. it was all the bad negative stereotypes about geeks rolled into one person. Kind of. Yeah, and you sprinkle on a lot of awkward. Yes. It was like, yeah. In line, I don't know if he didn't realize that we were attached mm -hmm. or what, but he just kept talking, talking to you. and flirting in such an awkward and he was dressed as the raccoon from Mario. That's how this all stemmed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he was dressed as the guy from Mario. The, the, guy. <laughs> the guy. You know that guy from, from Super Mario Brothers? The main guy? He was, he was dressed as the... He was red. <laughs> he was dressed... And he's got an M. <laughs> he was dressed as the raccoon from Mario. And he just kept talking to me and... Oh, we should do this later or we should meet up at this thing. And I was like, no... Sorry. He didn't even help me at all. At all. He just pretended like he didn't even know me. Oh, it was such an awkward situation. Would you have done the same? No, I would have hung under your arm. 
have been like taken back off. <laughs> oh. Maybe not in the most, you know, up front of ways, but I would have like grabbed your arm or like mm -hmm. hung onto your arm or held your hand or something so they knew you were attached. Well, you didn't help me, that's for sure. It was, I was just, it was funny. No. Yes. It's not. It was funny. First time I ever got hit on by a raccoon. Yeah, that's true. There's a lot of tape now. There is. Bye, guys. So, we're not going to say goodnight. Oh, okay, well, that too. So, um, that's it for tonight. There's your creepy raccoon story for the evening. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye! Yeah!